welcome back to my channel this is your girl Shanice and I'm doing a lace front install today today I already have my hair braided I already have my stocking cap ready to go guys I am so ready for this install I have cornrows in I tied the back and I cut up the ears I use my scissors that I'm gonna show you right now and I just literally just cut one little slot to the side and just stick my ears through you don't want to make it too big because I made the one side too big but you know what it's all good we got this so I'm going to use my powder to blend. I normally use powder and not foundation liquid because I feel like it blends better and it's less messy, guys. So I love my powder that I have. I got it from my local beauty supply store and it's not no fancy thing. It just needed it for blending my hair on my stocking cap. So guys, I'm just blending. I'm just patting. And what I have doing today... It's gonna look so pretty guys i'm so excited and i'm just fixing my camera because the lighting in my room is kind of off it looks so bright i'm not sure why because my light is not even on so it's okay so blending and i'm adjusting yes yeah, so i'm just gonna put the glue where my hairline is i'm gonna put it in front of my hairline and not on my edges guys i made that mistake one time and i'm still trying to catch up with my edges guys so remember to put it in front of your hairline and not on your hairline. So I'm just putting the glue where I want the lace to be, but I want the stocking cap to also be in a certain spot. So right now, I'm just, you know, forming out my hairline. And I'm going to put the glue from one side to the next side. I'm also going to let it dry. Let it dry until it's wet. Blend it in first and let it dry till it's literally clear. Clear is the best way to get a perfect install once it's clear then you know you made a bomb ass lace front install guys so right now i'm just using the end of one of my makeup little mini brushes just to blend in the glue because it helps better when it dries it evens out the glue so it dries easy evenly you know so guys right now i'm showing you guys where i have it i'm going to sit down and wait a few minutes i wait about probably five five minutes and now I got my needle and thread. I'm going to also sew the back of the hair so that I'm able to hold the stocking cap on my head when I install my wig. So it's literally up to down. I tied the end first. Just to let you guys, I tied the end of the needle and the thread. And I put it up under the braid. And then I put it through the braid. And then I put it through the hole. So that's what I, the whole process through the whole back. You go in under through the hole and pull under up through the hole and pull and that's what i'm going to do for the whole back of my hair you do not need it to the front i just needed to hold the stocking cap on in the back i'm going to keep doing that until i finish and then i also double knot it to the end when i was finished i double loop it i should say i double looped it so I'm going to do about one or two more and that's about it. I'm getting my scissors and I'm going to cut it and then I'm also going to double loop it and then cut it and then tie it. So I was there watching the TV guys. Listen, I totally forgot I was, too, I was freaking vlogging for a second. Like literally, I was literally so into the TV. So guys, yes. If you guys have not watched Inventing Anna, that's probably what I was watching. Inventing Anna on Netflix, please go and watch it. It's very interesting. I'm now doing another layer on my stocking cap. I'm going to blend it in. Remember, evenly. Not too much. Now I'm going to cut it. I think that scissor was dull, so I swapped it out for a better scissors, guys, because that scissors was trash. No. All right, y'all. So this is the wig that I have. It's a 20 inch body wave this front wig. I think this one is a 13 by six. It's the whole lace, and the inside is half. I'm not even sure, cause I'm not positive. I ordered from a lady. And she lives in Tatola. I ordered it from away and she shipped it over. And then this was my birthday wig that I'm I was just reinstalling. I washed. I also curled and I cut the wig. 
for this video. So right now I'm taking it off of my mannequin because I'm going to blend also the inside of my lace front wig to blend my stocking cap on my head. So I'm going to use the same powder that I applied on my head. I'm going to apply it on the inside of the wig so it can blend when I apply it to the end. So I'm applying it. I'm going to put it on the lace only. You don't have to put it on the black part of the, the cap. You only need it on the lace because that's the only part that matters. So right now I'm just blending and you see, I'm also going to use got to be spray on the inside where I put the foundation powder so it can hold the color. So I'm just going to spray a little bit just to hold the color guys. You don't need a lot because remember you don't want your wig to get sticky or to get on the hair. And this is the end. It's also a transparent lace guys so quality, quality, quality. Right now I'm cutting out my hairline so I can start the next step of the install. I'm cutting it out where I want my lace front to stop and begin. I'm going to cut both sides. You have to be so careful. I cut myself the last time I installed this wig and it was horrible. And then I'm going to do the next side. You can always do it piece by piece, guys. You can do side and side and middle, but I didn't need that. And I also cut the back because remember, you don't need nothing hanging out of the back of your wig. So, and this is how it looks so far. I'm also getting my got to be glue. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put on the glue. The glue looked like it wasn't coming out at first, guys. It's not empty. It's a new bottle, guys. So don't think that it's finished. It's not. It's just the glue was like it didn't want to come out. And then it started to come out way too much. But yes, I normally do about two to three times of applying the glue on my on my hairline for the install. But um, it's really up to you guys. I do two to three. I don't leave in my lace front wig that long, so I don't technically need it longer than that. So, yeah, I normally just do two to three, and then I call it a day. Because by the two, three days, I don't take it out. I get tired of hairstyles very fast, so. And I needed it for, like, literally one night, guys. So that's what I'm doing. I'm blending it in because, as you can see, when I blended it evenly, the glue, it dries faster. So remember that. And this is the second take. I'm doing it again. You see how clear the first layer dried? Yes. See? And you see how much glue came out on that side? I had to borrow from the side that had so much to put on the next side. Too much came out, but it's okay. You just have to blend it in very well. And it'll be fine. So now I'm putting the wig over my head. And I'm going to measure the two ends of the wig whether it, they both end because remember you want it to be even you want it to stop on both sides on the same level you don't want one side longer than the next side so right now i'm just adjusting measuring trying to see where i need to place my lace front wig and where is it going to stop now when you're applying the lace front wig on you always put the tip of the lace front where the tip of the glue starts because you don't want to put the lace behind where the glue starts because if you lay down on a pillow you put on your head tie and you try to take it off the head tie will be stuck to your hair so i always start with the middle part of my head and then i always go to the one side and then do the next side so right now i'm on the next side of the hair i then install the front and now i'm trying to adjust the sides i already cut out my baby hair so that's one less thing I have to do. I just have to form it and that's it. So right now I'm just trying to make sure I put the lace where the glue is because I want it to fit exactly perfect. And I'm taking my comb and pushing in the glue into the lace. You want to push it in because then it holds onto the lace. I'm adjusting. I'm trying to make sure I pull it long enough and then I'm using the comb again and I'm blending it in 
I'm pressing it in and I'm blending it in. I'm using the comb with the hair and I'm blending, I'm pushing backwards into the scalp and into the hair. I'm just keep doing that until I feel like it's in enough because you don't want your lace lifting. And I'm gonna keep doing it until I feel like it's good enough and I'm gonna move on to the next side. And now we're on the next side of there, and I'm gonna do the same process I did on that side. I'm gonna do it on this side. So I'm gonna this side I normally pull out some of the hairs so that when I'm pressing in, it looks like a more natural finish when I'm finished. So I normally pull out those little hairs and then I blend it in with the comb. I'm also gonna apply my headband for the first set of drying. And don't mind my head tie, guys. I had it for a minute, so... And don't mind the little glue that you see right into the tip. All of that's going to get cleaned up in the end. We just have to focus on melting the lace, guys. Melting the lace. So I put on my headband, and I'm going to wait a few so it can dry. You see how it's looking? Oh, man. I can done see this going to be a bomb-ass install, guys. Like, I'm, look at me. I'm like so into myself right now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start taking it off and then we're gonna spray it with the got to be sprayed to melt the lace to look even better. Because I know when you guys see that come off, boom, you guys can't even tell where the lace ends and the lace stops. So imagine when I put the got to be spray on. It's going to blend so well. I'm so happy with how it's looking right now. See, got to be spray. You're going to put on the hairline and you're going to blend. It's going to blend it in. Once you spray it and you put back on that head tie, girl, listen. Bam. It's going to dry. It's going to look just like scalp. So I'm putting on the head tie again. And I'm taking it off. This is going to be so exciting. Remember, I already cut up my baby hair, so... I don't have to do much right now because it's already a already used wig so the baby hairs were already there I'm using my mousse I didn't need it to use any heat to curl it or anything it was already in the formation I needed it in so I'm just using the mousse and I'm just forming my baby hairs I'm not doing dramatic baby hairs today because I just wanted like a simple sleek you know, elegant look, some light baby hairs, and you know, cute. Light was a thing today. That was my style I was going for, light baby hairs. Because I didn't feel like doing any dramatic, you know, styles and swoops and curls. Uh -uh. Not today. So I'm just doing the both sides. They don't have to match, guys, because remember, it's a side part. So you're not really going to see the difference now if you were doing a middle part guys it would have been a total difference but since it's a side part you're not gonna really see the next side of my hair so I didn't really care if the two edges weren't alike it didn't matter at that point in time but trust me if it was a middle part it would have been fine it would have, I would have fixed it it would have been perfect now I'm gonna do my little sideburn hairs and I'm not going to do a lot either. I'm just going to leave that little strip of hair that you see there. I'm not even going to add no hair to it. I want it light as possible. Because like I see, I don't want any dramatic look. It was literally for one event that I was doing it for. And it wasn't needed. I was trying to go for more elegant, casual, you know. So, light baby hair today. And I just clipped out some of it. Because it was a little bit too long for my liking. So I clipped it a little bit and I'm just forming the baby hair in the size and shape that I wanted. And I'm going to go on the next side. Now on this side now, I realized that it had too much baby hairs. Too much hairs, I should say. So I was trying to adjust some of it in the back so I could get a more less, you know, look. So it could kind of match the next side. It doesn't have to match, but close enough. So it was too much hair, so I was just trying to adjust and just take away some. And then I'm just going to 
cut some of it because this side was a little bit longer than the other side so I'm just gonna cut it a little bit shorter and I'm gonna lessen it a little bit more because it still seemed like it was too much to me see look at me look at on the both sides like that is still off girlfriend come on so as I'm finished that I'm gonna cut it there we go I'm gonna cut it to the same length as the next side it doesn't have to be the same thickness but at least be the same length at least so I'm just doing a little bit and I think I'm gonna cut it a little bit more because it's a little bit still too long and there we go so that's the side parting kind of kind of put together it's a little shape it's not even like all of that but like I say I was going for simple so I didn't feel like doing much and it looks it's already looking good guys it looks like scalp you can barely see where my lace ends so I'm doing it again I'm putting on the got to be spray on my edges part so it could blend a little bit more so if any little white things are showing it's gonna just blend it right in and I'm um, curling my wand curls so we're gonna see the finishing looking like <laughs> about a little while two seconds three seconds so guys yes so I'm gonna keep taking out the curls and then I'm gonna keep taking it out. And I also spread a little bit of oil sheen, guys. So it's a little bit shiny, so it doesn't look too, you know. And look how the curls are looking. It's bouncing, it's giving, it's it's giving, guys. Like these curls are giving. Like I am so in love. Look, I look so pretty. Like this install is bomb. Like, the hair is nice, it's soft, it's sleek, it's so pretty. Like, the curls are giving. Like, I did this from the day before, so the curls are holding so well. Like, I am loving that look. Guys, look at me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my list from InStyle, guys. If you guys have any questions about products that I use... I don't mind putting them in the description box. Just let me know. And I can let you guys know where I got the hair also. If you guys are interested, leave it in the comments. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Bye, guys.